Exodus chapter 8, Holman Christian Standard Bible. Then the Lord said to Moses, go into Pharaoh and tell him, this is what Yahweh says, let my people go so that they may worship me. But if you refuse to let them go, then I will plague all your territory with frogs. Now I will swarm with frogs. They will come up to you and on, go into your house, your palace, into your bedroom and on your bed, into the houses of your officials and your people and into your ovens and kneading bowls. The frogs will come up on you, your people and all your officials. Then the Lord said to Moses, tell Aaron, stretch out your hand with your staff over the rivers, canals, and ponds, and cause the frogs to come up onto the land of Egypt. When Aaron stretched out his hand over the waters of Egypt, the frogs came up and covered the land of Egypt. But the magicians did the same thing by their occult practices and brought frogs up into the land of Egypt. Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, ask Yahweh to remove the frogs from me and my people. Then I will let you your people go, and they may, can sacrifice to Yahweh. Moses said to Pharaoh, You make the choice rather than me. When should I ask on behalf of you, your officials, and your people that the frogs be taken away from you and your houses and remain only in the Nile? Tomorrow, he answered. Moses replied, As you have said, so that you may know that there is no one like Yahweh our God. The frogs will go away from you, your houses, your officials, and your people. The frogs will remain only in the Nile. After Moses and Aaron went out from Pharaoh, Moses cried out to the Lord for help concerning the frogs that he had brought against Pharaoh. The Lord did as Moses had said. The frogs in the houses, courtyards, and fields died. They piled them in countless heaps, and there was a terrible odor in the land. But when Pharaoh saw there was relief, he hardened his heart and would not listen to them as the Lord had said. Then the Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron, stretch out your staff and strike the dust on the earth, and it will become gnats throughout the land of Egypt. And they did this. Aaron stretched out his hand with his staff, and he struck the dust of the earth. Gnats were on man and beasts. All the dust of the earth became gnats throughout the land of Egypt. The magicians tried to produce gnats using their occult practices, but they could not. The gnats remained on man and beast. This is the finger of God, the magician said to Pharaoh. But Pharaoh's heart hardened, and he would not listen to them, as the Lord had said. The Lord said to Moses, Get up early in the morning and present yourself to Pharaoh when you see them going into the water, going out to the water. Tell him, this is what Yahweh says, let my people go so they can worship me. But if you will not let my people go, then I will send swarms of flies against you, your officials, your people, and your houses. The Egyptians' houses will swarm with flies, and so will the land where they live. But on that day, I'll give special treatment to the land of Goshen, where my people are living. No flies will be there. This way, you will know that I, Yahweh, am in the land. I will make a distinction between my people and your people. This sign will take place tomorrow. And the Lord did this. Thick swarms of flies went into Pharaoh's palace and his officials' houses. Throughout Egypt, the land was ruined because of the swarms of flies. Then Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, Go sacrifice to your God within the country. But Moses said, It would not be right to do that, because what we will sacrifice to the Lord our God is detestable to the Egyptians. If we sacrifice what the Egyptians detest in front of them, won't they stone us? We must go a distance of three days into the wilderness and sacrifice to the Lord our God as he instructs us. Pharaoh responded, I will let you go and sacrifice to the Lord your God in the wilderness, but don't go very far. Make an appeal for me. As soon as I leave you, Moses said, I will appeal to the Lord, and then tomorrow the swarms of flies will depart from Pharaoh, his officials, and his people. But Pharaoh must not act deceptively again by refusing to let the people go and sacrifice to the Lord. Then Moses left Pharaoh's presence and appealed to the Lord. The Lord did as Moses had said. He removed the swarms of flies from Pharaoh, his officials, and his people. Not one was left. But Pharaoh hardened his heart at this time also and did not let the people go.